Hello, this is Grace McCusker, and for my screencast and the image I chose for my exercise one, I picked out a picture of this little doggy, which is called a Xolo Itzquitle. It's a rare Mexican hairless dog, and for short, it's sometimes just referred to as a Xolo, or outside of Mexico, sometimes it's... Uh, said in a more American way as a Zolo. Um, I chose this picture here because I love Sholos. I uh, happen to own one. His name is Churro. And they are just beautiful, sweet, sweet, loving dogs. They have very soulful eyes and they're natural people pleasers. They live for being basically little emotional support dogs. They like to be on your lap, by your side. Um, some pe sometimes people joke, jokingly call them Velcro dogs because they always want to be right next to you. It's literally all they care about in life. Um, they are one of the oldest, if not the oldest, breed of dogs in the world. They came across the Bering Strait and then came down through the Americas down to Mexico. Um, they were used in pre-Columbian times as natural heating pads because they run so hot. And if you were had some kind of muscle ache or something like that, you could just put your Sholo on you and it'd make you feel better. Um, they were never specifically bred for any kind of skills or occupation. The, everything that you see is what you get with them. It's all natural selection. Um, you might know of them because... Someone who was a very big Sholo collector was Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. They had many of these dogs, and they their biggest collector was this art curator, Dolores Olmedo. And after she died, her home with all of its collections became a very important museum in Mexico. And to this day, the residents of this prior home, now museum, have a good six to seven Jolos at all times living on the premises. Anyway, those are the basic facts about them, but I started with this image just because it reminds me of the classic posture of a Jolo and the attention and the way he's looking at his owner. It's so sweet. Um, I have here my selection for there you go, my detail. I chose this because these dogs just have the most beautiful, attentive, loving faces and their eyes are so soulful. And some people think they're ugly. Like I've taken my dog out in public and had more than one person tell me that this little ugly dog was so lucky that I adopted him, which I kind of just stare at them and laugh because to me, he's just the sweetest thing. Um, sometimes it might not come through in a photograph, but when you really look at their eyes, they're just the most beautifully loving dog species. Anyway, that's my detail on why I chose this, this close-up of the dog, because I believe you can see the soulfulness and the attention that he's giving his owner. And I think that he's adorable. So thank you very much. Again, this is Grace McCusker. Thanks for looking at my pictures.